Hey everybody, in this tutorial uh, we're going to be talking about uh, material maps, how you can modify and puppet them uh, using the avatar controller, and how you can assign uh, props as accessories using the uh, non-dummy, uh, sorry, the uh, non-character dummy that's included with the avatar toolkit too. Um, so I'm going to start off by explaining a couple of projects here to you. Um, you can find our projects with the avatar toolkit 2 in your projects tab. If you go to the Avatar Toolkit 2 folder here, you can find a couple of uh, different projects. These are pretty cool uh, projects. You can uh, take a look at them, uh, try and reverse engineer them to see uh, how we, how we uh, got about creating all of these different effects. Uh, I'm going to explain a couple to you here relating to the, uh, to the material maps. Um, the first one is this uh, material LED lamp here. I'm just going to go ahead and play this and we'll see what's, uh, what we're looking at here. So you can see that uh, there's a number of different uh, faces lighting up on this uh, panel here. And if I go ahead and stop that, you can see if I go to the Others tab, that each one of these is corresponding to a point um, in our Avatar Controller here. So exactly how are we doing this? Uh, let's take a look. Let's uh, close down the Avatar Controller. I'm going to open up my uh, Scene Manager. And if I go into the Avatar, you can see we have our dummy non-human character there. And that's because uh, we want this uh, light ball here, which is this entire prop, to uh, have the uh, characteristics that, of an accessory so we can use it with our Avatar Builder. Uh, so let's take a look at the light ball then. Um, if I go to light ball here on the left, on the right in the modify panel, you can see that there's a whole bunch of different materials. And you may have guessed that each one of these materials listed corresponds with a different light um, on our on our panel here. So what's, what we're going to emphasize here is the glow map. So you can see the glow map strength is zero on this zero one zero two. If I bring that all the way up, you can see that boom, that's what's going to light up. Um, each one of these uh, individual lights has its own material item um, in our uh, list here. You can see that uh, 0308 is over there and you get the picture. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our avatar builder and we're going to try and modify uh, one of these. So let's go uh, into the props avatar builder. We just right click and script and bring that up and we'll bring it into window mode here um, and select accessories and let's check out the, the, uh, the uh, settings for our light ball here and we'll bring this over on preview mode, you can see, of course, that the uh, same um, lights are all set up here. Let's take a look at mode one, and you can see that we have that uh, facial expression there, kind of uh, shocked and sad, uh, whatever you would call it. So let's take a look at our glow map, um, and let's go to some random number, maybe uh, we'll uh, try 4, 8, and then let's try and uh, bring the glow map up so you can bring the strength up. And you can see that that's uh, the number for that's the uh, light ball for 4.8. Uh, if I bring that strength up to 100, it looks kind of like he's almost uh, a single tear coming down on his face. So we can go ahead and apply that, and we'll go to preview mode one more time, and you can see that now we have uh, we have updated that. And so we can just go to preview mode, press OK, and that's basically uh, what this uh, little um, panel of lights consists of. I'm going to show you one more because we're going to be getting into UV mapping as well in just a moment. I'm going to go to the content manager again and let's load in our uh, UV TV wall here. We don't need to save that for now. Now this one's a little bit different. Um, let's go ahead and play this one and see what's, uh, what's up with this one here. So you can see that a number of different panels are sliding by. And you can see it's being controlled by the uh, avatar controller. Maybe select it first. There you go. You can see I have a picture there. iClone avatar toolkit, all these different uh, kind of poster boards that are popping up um, and sliding along according to my avatar controller. So let's take a look at what's uh, what's going on here. Um, now what I'm going to do to show you this is if I go to the materials on the uh, right here, um, you can see that we have a number of different, uh, oops, sorry, let's select our uh, plane first. We have a number of different materials here. Uh, you can see plane 108, um, plane 22, these all have different diffuse maps. And so let's take a look at one of the diffuse maps. Um, let's take a look at plane 1-1. One, one. Uh, we have that selected. And if I just move plane 1-1, one, one, um, I have a good guess that I have a hunch that that'll be on the top left here. So let's go to edit animation layer and let's select our plane 1-1 one, one and press the W hotkey. And we are correct. It's the uh, one on the very top left there. So we can move that around individually. Now these are, these represent the individual bones um, of this, of this dummy. So you can move them individually. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, close that. So now we know what plane 1-1 one, one is. So let's take a look at the diffuse map of plane 1-1. One, one. Right now it just shows the uh, top kind of left part of the reillusion uh, um, poster board there. So if we go to our diffuse map, let's take a closer look at it. 
Um, if I move my um, uh, scrub my timeline a little bit um, further, take a take a look at the uh, UV offset uh, right in the middle over here uh, in in our uh, texture settings as I slide this uh, time scrub along. So you can see that at this point the values are changing for the uh, U offset, and then at this point both of them are changing for U envy and uh, so on and so forth. So let's take a look at the diffuse map, uh, what it consists of, since we can't really see it from this far away. Let's launch it up in Photoshop. And once this loads up in Photoshop, what you'll see is, um, if I just press Control and I, we'll just uh, load up our image size. You can see it's 200 by 200 pixels. And basically, this is showing the top left, the very top left panel of each individual image that I want to show. So you can see that we have the uh, this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. So each one is going to be about 100, uh, exactly 100 pixels actually, because we have a 200 by 200 uh, pixel image. So essentially what you'd want to do is if you want to create your own uh, panel like this, you'd have to cut up your, um, your panel into a number of different uh, sections that are 200 by 200, or rather 100 by 100, and you'd have to paste those back on to uh, um, combine all of the image maps or combine all of the accessories together into a single plane. And we'll show you how to do that uh, in a moment as well. Uh, so this is what it consists of. If I wanted to maybe uh, go, you know, file new, create something that's 100 by 100 pixels, um, I pressed OK. We can maybe just zoom in here a little bit. And if I just wanted to, like, you know, color over that, uh, with, I have a red selected, so let's go ahead and color that over with red. And Control A, Control X, and we will Control Paste that into our. Uh, diffuse map here and so let's uh go ahead and press uh file so go ahead and save that we'll save that as a jpeg and we'll replace it sure why not press ok now in iclone you can see that uh, that image has been updated if i go uh to uh, where the original reillusion is you can see it is now a red panel instead of the uh reillusion uh, the beginning of the reillusion right there so let's go ahead and try this ourselves. So I'm going to start a new project here. We're going to do a simple example of this. I'm just going to use a simple uh, cube. Uh, we'll go to the props, uh, 3D blocks, and I can add in a box uh, or a cube. All right, so we have our uh, box sitting here, and you can see it just has a diffuse map, um, a planar diffuse map. Now what, what I'm going to do, I actually have a, uh, a similar one, a similar image loaded up, or already, already uh, constructed actually. So I'm going to double click my diffuse map, and I have it saved on my desktop. You can see we have a plane right there. And you can see now that that is mapped onto my cube. However, um, there is only um, two um, parts on each side. So what I want to do is make sure that this is mapped correctly to the shape of my object. If I go down to UV settings, you can see it's uh, mapped as a, as a planar surface. If I select the box one and I go ahead and apply that, you can see now we get our uh, UV mapping is uh, correctly applied to this particular shape. Okay, um, so now what I want to do is let's go ahead and check out a couple of things here. Um, first of all, I'm going to add in my avatar controller. So let's go to the set and do, 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 do avatar toolkit. And we want to just bring in our avatar builder. We don't need the avatar controller for now. Um, but what we do need is if I go to actor and I go to avatar toolkit in the actor tab, you can see we have our dummy non-human character. So I'm just going to double click that and that will apply right here to my uh, scene root. And then what I need to do is select my prop, the box. I can right-click it and select attach, and then I can select my dummy non-human character. So now this has uh, now this is defined as an accessory, and as an accessory, it can be um, modified or the controls can be set up using the avatar builder. So I'm going to bring this into window mode here, and let's go and select accessories, and we'll select our box to begin the controller definition. So I'll just press OK. We can choose the uh, any object type, any object structure, uh, single for this one, of, of course. Um, the UI type, we'll just leave it at four directional. And we'll just assign the root as the uh, as the box. We're good to go. And the nodes. Now here we can actually choose a slider control or we can use the dot controller. Maybe for the dot controller later on we'll uh, maybe try to adjust the scale. Uh, but with the slider, I'm going to be adjusting the materials. So I don't need to actually check those off. But the boxes do need to be highlighted. And so we'll select apply. And then we'll go to next here. So let's take a look at what we can do with this box. We're going to do some pretty cool stuff. Um, 
what I want to do first is use the slider. So if I go to the middle of the slider and I select apply, that'll set the middle of the slider to exactly this appearance for the box. Now let's go down in the materials and we'll just mess around with the materials a little bit. This is kind of fun. So let's add a glow map um, to this box. Um, so I'll just select the, uh, double click the glow map. Let's choose this kind of, we can choose either any of these really. I'll choose this nice funky uh, bouquet one here. I'll just bring the strength down to zero for now. And we'll select the uh, middle one again. And we want to make sure that the strength is down to zero. And go ahead and apply that. Now, if I go into preview mode and I use my slider, nothing's happening right now when I move my slider around. So let's uh, let's change that. Let's go to the left here. And what I want to do is set the strength to zero, uh, the glow strength to zero, and the diffuse. What we want to do is set that to uh, the normal diffuse. And everything will basically just leave at normal. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I'm going to change the middle one here. So the middle one, what I want to do with the middle one here is, is a couple of things. The first thing I want to do is increase my glow strength. I'll increase that to about uh, 50. And you can see the effect that that's having on my uh, cube there, kind of making it glow a little bit. You can bring it up to 100 if you want. We can even do that. And also what I want to do is I want to tile this. So let's bring the glow strength down for now. Let's take a look at the tiling. So the tiling right now, oops, the tiling right now, if I select that uh, as, if I change that to four, uh, you can see that nothing really happens because we're actually on the glow map. So we'll just bring that back to one. Make sure you're on the correct map. We'll go to the diffuse map there and we should be able to see the tiling here. All right, there we go. So now we get the uh, different tiling uh, on the on the U plane and on the V plane, we'll select that, change that to four as well. And now we got this uh, checkered cube. Um, so now if I move from the uh, A to the middle, the uh, basically, uh, if I press, go ahead and uh, whoops, we want to actually bring the glow strength up to uh, 100 as well. So let's take a look now. If I apply this, what will happen between there and there? So you can see that from there to there, we have um, our UV is increasing and our cube begins to glow a little bit as well. So let's go ahead and define the last, um, the right part of our slider. So we'll select the B. And what I'm going to do now is with the uh, diffuse map, I can actually um, rotate it right, the entire um, UV map. Let's go ahead and try that. You can't really notice it right now. Uh, maybe just the uh, blue lines are going across now. Let's go ahead and try and mirror that as well. Now this is gonna create a kind of a cool effect, uh, which you'll see in just a moment. Um, but another thing I wanna do is I want to make sure that uh, the glow strength doesn't really matter. Uh, we can maybe, uh, decrease it a little bit, maybe to something like this, um, 30 or 32. And what we also want to do is go down to our opacity in our material settings. I want to set our opacity to zero and everything will disappear and except for our little uh, non-human uh, dummy character down there. Now let's go ahead and apply that. And let's see what this does here. So if I go to preview and I go back to the uh, original, so this is my original cube. And as I go along, the UV gets smaller and then the UV starts to rotate. So you can see that's kind of a cool effect. It starts to rotate, 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 and then just boom, disappears. So if you wanted to use like a like kind of a Star Trek teleporter effect there, you can kind of do that. Just have it like zoom like that. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go to preview mode right now. And then we'll just go ahead and press OK. So that's how you can modify um, your, your uh, UV maps and your materials and all that stuff uh, with, with individual props. So what if we want to have uh, multiple multiple uh, cubes in our scene? What if we want to have like multiple objects like we had in our uh, UV plane or like we had in our uh, in our uh, light panel there? So let's go ahead and uh, try this. Uh, what I'm going to do is select our uh, cube right now. We can uh, just uh, close down the avatar builder for now. What I want to do is you can see this cube is set in an accessory. Can, we can go to custom here and let's go ahead and select our cube. And once it's selected... Oh, we want to select the uh, box rather down in the scene manager. Make sure that our dummy is not selected, rather our cube is selected. And you can see now we have the option to uh, add this as an accessory. So let's go ahead and add that. We'll just call it uh, cube. It's a very appropriate name. So we have our cube set up there. And let's go ahead and try and apply another one of these to our scene. Um, so we have our original right here. Let's go ahead and bring in another cube right there. You can see we have another cube, but this one is actually defined as a prop. So what we need to do as if I if I uh, take this down, you can see that there's no animation on it. It's just basically uh, set back to its original uh, position. Um, now what I want to do is attach this to my dummy. 
So let's go ahead, uh, twirl down our, uh, minimize our content manager, bring up the avatar. And what I want to do is attach it to this dummy non-human character. So we can uh, select this cube, we can select attach, and we can select it to our uh, dummy right there. So now this dummy is, is controlling two separate cubes. So if I select my dummy, I can move both cubes around uh, individually if I like. Uh, I'll just control Z that. And what I want to do is uh, twirl that down one more time. I'll go into my uh, avatar builder one more time and just uh, right click. There's our avatar builder. Oh, there it is. So right click it and script and bring up the avatar builder one more time. Now I want to assign accessories um, to my second my second cube there as well. Uh, set the uh, accessory uh, definitions, the controller definitions rather. So let's go into window mode here and let's select accessories and select uh, box 01. So now if I go into preview mode, you can see that the box kind of disappears. Uh, where is it? The box has actually gone back to the original root position uh, of the previous uh, prop. So let's go to preview mode and let's uh, try and adjust that. But first what I want to do is, is uh, clear the uh, puppet behavior. Um, if I don't clear the puppet behavior, both um, props will have the exact same uh, properties. Um, so let's go ahead and move the other one first. Um, so if I go to the uh, default position right here, and I'm just going to move my uh, second prop over so we can uh, see it. So now you can see we used to have one, now we have two. All right, so we have those uh, two props right there. We'll just go ahead and apply that. And now if I go to preview mode, you can see that both props um, will have the, uh, well, this one will have the same uh, properties since we have this one selected right now. If I go out of preview mode and uh, press OK, I was going to load up my uh, avatar controller. So let's go into the set. Uh, props avatar controller bring that in and we'll just uh, bring this builder over here and with the avatar controller and other selected um, basically what will happen is both props now have the same properties so you can see that we can um, that's basically the procedure for creating um, duplicates um, of your puppet prop so you can see that we have uh, our uh, variation slider back and forth making our uh, cubes disappear there um, all right, so basically that's about it for this tutorial. And like I mentioned, if you want, uh, you know, your your um, cube on the right to disappear while this one reappears or, or vice versa, you can just reverse those settings. Um, so if I went into uh, accessories and I just defined my uh, my second one right here, the box one more time, let's take a look at this. Um, so I remember uh, previously we had, uh, let's go ahead and uh, clear all the data right here. Let's press OK. And this one, what we'll just do is we'll have, uh, on the right now, we'll have basically the strength, uh, UV tiling back at 1, 1 and 1, oops, not 11, 1, there you go, our glow map, we'll just have it at uh, 0, and then we'll just go ahead and press apply, and the middle one, I believe, we had uh, the tiling uh, at 4, which is correct here, the glow was also at 100, and then we had the uh, the UV offset uh, or sorry we didn't flip that yet um, so let's go ahead and apply that and then on the left side we can basically set the uh, the fuse uh, at four still and we want to uh, flip it and, and uh, mirror it to the v-axis and then we can uh, go ahead and uh, set our opacity down to zero and make that disappear and then go apply and then go okay now let's see what happens when we uh, use our avatar controller let's close down the builder for now um, let's go ahead and use our avatar uh, controller. You can see now that this one re reappears while this one disappears. So now we basically have um, the settings reversed. So this is a cool thing you can do and you can have a number of different... Uh, there's more options if you use the dot slider, but I just kind of want to show you a simple example using our uh, slider here. So we can make this one reappear and this one disappear. And that's totally uh, real-time puppetable, um, totally controlled by you. So there you can see uh, it's not really that difficult to set up your own uh, your own puppet accessories um, and uh, do some really cool material effects. You can be as creative as you want and make as many duplicates as you want. Um, so that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for our other special projects tutorial on uh, accessory structures.